I feel like something really bad is going to happen because I've had a good fringe. I don't think it works like that. Well, like yesterday's show, my eyesight went funny for a bit and I was oh like, my oh my God, I'm going blind as a punishment for having a good fringe. But um, I just rubbed the foundation into my own eyes. <laughs> Hello, I'm Fern Brady and my show is called People Are Idiots and it's on at Stand 4 at 12.10pm. How's your Fringe Festival been going so far? A uh, load better than I anticipated. The show's sold out every day and the audiences have been nice and I thought the Fringe was going to be a lot worse than it is. That sounds really smug, but... No, that's fine. Uh, I'm sure they'll have bad fringes in years to come. You're not from Edinburgh, but from nearby, right? Yeah, I'm from Bathgate, which is 20 minutes outside of Edinburgh, and I'm living at my mum's in Bathgate, so that stopped me from oh, drinking or anything. Um, and so you must have been to the Fringe Festival as so kind of like a, a, an attendee before? Yeah, well, people from Bathgate don't really go to the Fringe. I'm quite worried about saying that in case I get battered on the train. You said you'd been uh, a reviewer at the Fringe before. Yeah, in like the loosest sense of the word. Uh, I was really rubbish at it. I used to regularly not turn up to shows that I was supposed to be reviewing, go and see a show and forget. Oh, this is the best thing I did as a reviewer. I would, if I was allowed to pick what shows I was going to review, I would find a comedian who was good looking, um, not very well known, so they'd want a reviewer in. And then I'd go and see their show in the hope that they would have sex with me in exchange for a good review. This totally works. You live in London now. Yeah. You're originally a Scots comic, but coming back, do you feel like an outsider or do you feel like audiences are like, oh, it's a Scottish comedian, like one mm. of us kind of way? I feel like an outsider and sometimes people from my local area come and see me and I feel like a bit silly because I, I like drinking green juice now. Do you mention that in your set? No, I, I mentioned that I like goat yogurt. What about people from Bathgate going to think about that? <laughs> they would just judge me. <laughs> like, I can never go back. My mum's had to get all this pretentious food in for me coming home. Avocados and such like. If you're going to try and persuade people of Bathgate to come along to the Fringe, you don't have to, you can tell them to stay away. But if you wanted to, what would you say to them? I would say, Please stop coming to see my show if you went to school with me. There's not going to be anything about how big Tesco is in Bathgate. Nothing about the dreadnought. Nothing about me being weird at school. And nothing about that time I nicked your pencil topper in maths. There won't be any of that. And you won't like it. Like when I was at school, people thought three quarter length sleeves were mental when they first came out. So me reading out my meditation diary in my show isn't going to go down so well. <laughs> thank you very much for your time. Thanks. Cheers. Thank so you. I, if I sounded like a silly funny. <laughs>